morning, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, thank you again for joining us this morning. What a absolutely beautiful day it is this morning. Uh, a brand new season that the Lord has given us. Um, so uh, this is the time where uh, everything starts blooming and starts uh, flowering, starts producing new fruit and, and uh, growing and displaying uh, the splendor and the glory of God. And uh, so that, that's in nature, and so hopefully that is in our physical and spiritual lives as well. Um, I hope this day finds you blessed. I hope you are well today. I hope you had a good night's rest. I just want to share one scripture <clears throat> this morning out of the book of Proverbs, if you want to follow with. Proverbs chapter 3. We're going to be reading uh, two scriptures out of uh, chapter 3. Um, and we are going to highlight five words, five words that the Lord wants to show us there. So Proverbs chapter three, if you want to follow this morning, before we get into that family in Jesus, um, have you ever, uh, put your trust in someone to maybe share something very personal and very intimate with them and have they kept that trust? Have they kept it to themselves or have they broken the trust? And, and so if the second one was you, you know, if you did trust someone and you, you shared something with them and they went out and, and uh, let's be open and honest, blurted it out to anyone and everyone, you know, maybe it's at this very moment then difficult for you to trust someone. And family in Jesus, as I was spending time with the Lord uh, yesterday and last night, and then this morning, uh, going through the word, um, you know, family, if we think about um, walking in God's kingdom, every single day, if we are a son and a daughter of God, if we are disciples of Jesus, Jesus is entrusting us with a part of his kingdom. He's entrusting us with the name of his son, Jesus. He's entrusting us with the truth of the gospel, the truth of the word of God. And so whenever we relay the word of God to someone, we must be very careful that we do it exactly the way we received it. Not to add anything, not to take anything away. And so this morning's scripture is... It had a powerful impact on my spirit when I read it and when the Spirit of God actually revealed it to me. And it's going to have to be a personal thing for each one of us. And so Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31 and verse 32 says this. 31, we'll start there and it says, Do not envy um, the violent or choose their ways. Don't envy the violent or choose their ways. Let's bring that scripture into today. How can we apply that to today? Well, family in Jesus, if you look around you, you know, in the world, in, in those that don't know the Lord, you know, in some areas of, of the world, the things that they do and the things that they say, it's violent. And, and by that, I, I, I don't maybe um, specifically mean um, physical violence. But, you know, maybe mental or emotional violence, you know, the way that they speak to people, the way that they treat people. So, so if we bring this first piece, um, verse 31, into today, don't envy the vi don't try and be like the world. Jesus said to his disciples, you are in the world, but you're not of the world. You are of my kingdom. You are of my spirit. And so the first scripture says, don't envy, don't, don't try to be like the world, don't want to be like the world. And then family, this, this verse 32, if we grasp it today, um, it, it, will, it will have a powerful impact in our lives, the way we treat each other and the way we walk in God's kingdom for him. It goes further and it says, for the Lord detests the perverse, but he takes the upright into his confidence. Family, listen what the scripture says. <clears throat> the Lord 
takes the upright into his confidence. He trusts the upright. Now, family in Jesus, you know, if, if we are walking in God's kingdom and we are representing God's kingdom, then surely we must talk like God's kingdom talks. We must walk like God's kingdom walks. We must treat each other like God's kingdom treats. And so the question this morning, and only you and I can answer it for ourselves, the question personally for me and for you this morning is, in God's eyes, not in man's eyes, in the eyes of the Father that created heaven and earth and established everything and, and, and built everything and set everything into place and called those he wanted to be in his kingdom, in the eyes of that Father God, Am I considered to be upright? Because you know, family in Jesus, with people, we can look at people and, and they may be clothed in the, the right manner and they may be wearing the right labels for us to then say, wow, that person is upright. But this morning, the question that we have to ask the Father in heaven on his throne that rules and reign, reigns over everything is Father God, do you consider me to be upright? And if yes, then can I ask you, Father, can you take me into your confidence? And family in Jesus, this ties in with, with a lot that the Lord has said to us over this lockdown where we are sitting down with our journals and we are um, praying and interceding and, and, and we are moving into the Spirit with our Father and, and asking Him to entrust us with his words and trust us with with words of wisdom and words of knowledge and words words of insight and 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 prophecy and and so family in jesus this morning we can ask our father in heaven this very question that comes out of this scripture father god do you consider me to be upright and that's only a question that our father in heaven can can answer because we must be seen upright in, in his eyes, in his standards, by his standards. Not by the standards that, that we conjure up or, or by the standards of this world, family in Jesus. And can I stand this morning and, and, and can I say, yes, the Lord can trust me with his gospel. Yes, the Lord can trust me with the gifts that he has given me via the Holy Spirit. Family in Jesus, this is a big thing. This is a huge thing. And so if you are standing, and only you can answer this this morning, if you are standing this morning and, and deep within your heart you are feeling, you know, no, no, the Lord can't really trust me with everything yet, then I would say you are in a good place because then you have, um, confessed and I believe that the word of God teaches us that if we confess our sins our father in heaven is faithful and just and he will forgive us our sins and so this morning to stand and to say no I, I don't believe that the Lord can entrust me this morning with everything in his kingdom and no I don't believe that I am walking upright at this very moment and so family in Jesus if that is you this morning then as we go into prayer right now, just pray and just ask the Lord, Father God, what, what will it take for me to be upright in your kingdom? What will it take for, for you to bring me into your confidence? And then there's the other side where if, yes, you have worked hard and you've labored and you have prayed and fasted and, and you've gained the, the confidence of the Lord or in the Lord, and that you can, can stand today and feel in your spirit that the Holy Spirit is saying, yes, you are upright in my kingdom. And yes, I, I, I have or I can bring you into my confidence. Then family in Jesus, I want you to realize and I want me to realize what an absolute, first of all, privilege that is. And second of all, what a... a um, it, it, it is a huge responsibility that we have received 
to be able to come into the confidence of Father God. And so as we go into prayer right now, whichever way you are standing, um, lay your heart before the Lord this morning and um, let the Lord judge. Am I upright this morning or am I not yet? And if I am, can he bring me into his confidence and trust me with the things of his kingdom? Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing of this new season that we have come into, physically and spiritually. Father, we look forward to what you are going to, to do in our lives. We pray this morning, Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit and the truth of the word of God. Lord, that if we can raise our hands this morning and say, Lord, no, I don't believe I'm walking upright in your kingdom yet. Then I pray, Father God, for those who have raised their hands, that the Holy Spirit will rest on them right now, will work in their lives, will clean them, will cleanse them, will purify them, will move into those temples, and will start a fresh, brand new Holy Spirit work in their lives, Lord. If there are some of us who can raise our hands this morning and say, yes, I felt the Spirit of God say to me that, yes, the Lord does see me as upright in His kingdom and the Lord has or wants to bring me into His confidence. Then, Father God, we must um, stand this morning alert and awake and alive because we know that the enemy is walking around like a prowling lion, seeking and seeing who he can destroy so if that is us, Lord, and you have entrusted us with a part of your kingdom and your gospel, that today we must cherish that, Lord Jesus, and we must protect it with everything inside of us. So thank you, Father God, for whichever way we are standing this morning, because we know you can and you will do a, per a, a, a perfect work in our lives, Lord, and a powerful work in our lives. So we thank you for that, Father God. As we go further into this day and this week, may we display the splendor and the glory of our Father in heaven. And we pray, we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, something to think of as we go further into this day and into this week. Uh, go and sit and meditate on this. Uh, see what the Holy Spirit shows you more than, than uh, we just... Uh, shared this morning um and uh, and hopefully family in jesus if you were the one that were, was honest enough this morning to say you know no i i i am not yet upright in god's kingdom um i want to say to you you're in a good place you have confessed and now uh, the, the the lord can open doors for you um listen to the holy spirit take the word of god meditate on the word of god day and night be careful to do what it says. Um, and then from here on forward, just uh, look carefully where the steps of Jesus are so that you can step in those very same steps. Amen. And so family, until we meet again tomorrow, be absolutely blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.